Hi everyone. So we've just finished a session of exams here in South Africa and I found Musical 4 really useful for setting my exams. And as I was busy setting my exams with the help of some colleagues, uh, we came across some really useful tips that I think you might enjoy. In fact, I'd love to see a community of music teachers helping each other to create better content. So if you have any great tips for using MuseScore or Microsoft Word for your exams, please leave them in comments below and maybe I'll try and cover them in a future video. So here's my example for this question. Study the following music and answer the questions that follow. And I've gone to MuseScore and I've written a short little piece of music, deleted all the extra bars, done a whole bunch of formatting stuff that I've shown you in previous videos, and now we want to get it to Microsoft Word. Except there's still a couple of things that bug me. One of those is that I want the students to be able to reference any of the bar numbers, especially in the lower grades. It's just useful to have the bar numbers in there. So what we're going to do is go to style settings. We'll go to bar numbers and all of these settings that we have, we can adjust. But the big one I'm going to look for now is interval and make sure that it's set to one. Normally I think it's on five. So I'm going to set it to one, which means it will show at every bar, then click okay. And now I've got every bar has a bar number. It does stop the first one. That's very easy to fix. I can just tick show first as well. And now we've got a bar number on every single one. Great. The next problem I have is that this first one is indented. I understand it makes sense for a score. You know, normally that's where you put the, the instrument labels and that kind of thing. On this instance, I would like them to be in the same vertical line, bar one and bar five. So. That's also pretty easy. I'll again go to style settings. This time I'm going to, I'll stay on score and just untick enable indentation on first system. And we can see it's already done it in the background. And now everything's all neat and blocked off. So I'll use my usual tool, control shift and S. I think it's command shift four on Mac. Draw my box. Come over to word and copy it in and it's all neatly arranged in there beautiful now something else that we've noticed is that these are not quite white it's not so noticeable now when we're looking on the screen but when you print it there's this ugly sort of gray background to this musical thing so what we can do to fix that is we go to picture format color and then set transparent color then I'll just click in the middle here somewhere and we can see it doesn't make much difference to us but I promise you it makes a big difference when you print it because now it will be over white and not over a gray and in fact I found that feature so useful that anything I bring in from MuseScore has this gray box and instead of going to picture format and color every time thanks by the way Ashley for this tip but what I've done is you can go into color right click on set transparent color and add to the quick access toolbar that adds it up here so that if i need to bring any more music and i just select the the music score and set transparent color and it's all quick and done no bothering with menus so i use that a lot okay now we need our question how about let's start with something simple like what is the key of this piece And now I want a line for the students to write on. And I've discovered, as I'm sure many people have, that if I do underscore, which is shift and dash, that makes a nice little line. However, if I press enter, it fills up the line for the entire bar. And that can be uh, in the, the entire uh, cell of this table, which can be quite useful. I make sure that I've still got space to put in my mark allocation. Let's call this one. And I clearly have not changed this template again because that should not be bolded. And now again, I've just got this issue that the one should be in line with this line and it's not. So maybe I'll also just leave an extra space for them to answer with. And then I want to delete this. And as we can see, word is just so frustrating at times. It can be great, but this one is frustrating. However, I think I've discovered it. What you do when you want to make your extra line, you press shift and enter. Doesn't look like it's done anything different. However, if I now press backspace there, I now have the line at the bottom and not in the middle somewhere. So that's a great tip. Um, hope that helps someone. 
of course, then we'll just go and add extra lines for our other questions. And I've discovered definitely that having one col uh, one row empty is a very useful way to keep things neatly ordered and spaced. So I hope some of that helps. Please, again, if you have any tips and tricks for working with MuseScore or Microsoft Word for making really good looking and professional content for tests or exams, or even just for teaching, please leave them in the comments. Bye.